Along with iron, leather is another much needed resource that you're going to need in order to upgrade or strengthen all of your gear. Now, it is an absolute pain to hunt down animals, chase them down, shoot animals in the wild. It gets annoying and it's pretty inefficient. Luckily, we have a new farm that can be incorporated with the other farms that I've already showed you. And this comes from Nuriversteeg. Hopefully I said that correctly. And this person has an absolute brilliant area that you can go and hunt down leather and again incorporate it into the loop the farming loop that i have already created thus making it a really really truly perfect farming loop it's absolutely incredible i'm going to show you exactly how to do it exactly where to go and then i'm going to take you through where you're going to go with this loop all right we're going to get into this. It's going to be freaking phenomenal. I'm Dark Shadow, the YouTube Assassin. Let's get into some leather farming greatness. So where we're going to be is in Hamptonshire. And we're going to be pretty much south of where that tower of iron ore is. When you come through here, you're going to find a bunch of these boars. And killing them is going to yield you between 41 and as you saw, like 47 pieces of leather. And there are a lot of boars in this forest. You're going to run around. You probably, the best bet is going to be to like get on your horse after you kill like a, a little pack of them run around you'll see more laying around as you can see another 44 leather there and then of course you get the wild boar tusks that you could use to sell off at a later time but for right now this is a, a great method look at this they're all pretty close and again get on your horse ride around chase after them get off and just knock them out Look at this leather. It's even more leather than you got ore. So you're going to fill up on this quick. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I see in a lot of videos, you guys are asking, how is it that I've got way more iron ore or leather whenever I kill these animals or whenever I take ore? What happens there is that I'm at a higher level than you are. So I get more yields the higher the level. So what you're going to have to do is get a couple of more levels as you do you'll see that your yields will be much higher whenever you destroy any of the uh ore deposits or whenever you kill an animal i've actually tested this with my alt my other uh character actually is way lower as you've seen in a couple of videos that ivor is only in the 90s and all the yields that i get from that are way way less whenever I'm going and attacking anything or whenever I'm actually hunting for ore and stuff. So again, this is absolutely amazing. It's south of Winchester. It's south of that tall tower that has all of the iron ore, the nine deposits when you're hunting the tungsten, when you're hunting those five patrols that are all around that tower. So uh, again, look at this. It's still all in one take. I'm still finding a bunch of these freaking boars and we're taking them out. There are a bunch of them here. And again, look at how much leather you get per boar. Even if you don't get a tusk, you still get a lot of leather. There is a ton of stuff to get here. So in that forest, like I showed you, but let me show you the route that we're going to take.
So here it is. This is the area where we're in. What you're going to do, you're going to start off in London. You're going to do the Orlog trick where you become invincible. You're going to come over to this Gloucestershire. You're going to go and attack the patrols that are there for the Tungsten. Then you're going to move down over here. You get more patrols for Tungsten, plus you get the iron deposits there. Then you go right over here, which I just showed you a video. There's another 25 deposits of iron there. From there, you go south. This is where you find all those boars. And then past that, you go over here and you get a bunch of nickel. There's those two patrols that have the nickel ingots there. Once you're done there, you repeat. You go right back get that tungsten and just keep going you continue this cycle over and over again and you'll get all the materials that you need real quick it'll be absolutely phenomenal and you'll be leveled up in no time you'll have tons of leather tons of iron and of course you can always adjust this route to suit your needs if you don't need nickel, you only need the tungsten, go for it. If you don't need the tungsten, you just need the leather and the iron, then you knock that out of the equation and you carry on just attacking these boars for the leather and then going to those deposits for the iron. So again, these are people that are in the community who have helped us out. Anthony Beal with that uh, iron ore farm and now Nuri Verstig with this leather farm which is absolutely phenomenal thank you both for just letting the community know because this is something that everybody wants to do everybody has been asking for these kind of farms and it makes things a lot easier and nobody wants to go out and farm for silver just to farm for leather and iron so that they could make these purchases in the store once you level up and stuff like that this just makes it a lot easier and it's just absolutely phenomenal so anyway let me know what you guys think of these farms how are you faring with them how are you making out with them do you know of any other farms are there any other questions that you guys need answered this community has obviously showed that it's absolutely incredible and we're just going to keep doing this we're going to keep figuring these things out and we're going to be showing all these details and helping each other out getting through all this nonsense in Valhalla. Anyway, other than that, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. Plus, you're one of the first people to know whenever there's something new that comes out. Either a glitch or a farm or anything else that's helpful that you would want to know. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until the next one, take care. Be good. Happy hunting. So, I just started another channel where I am just playing games. It's called Dark Strider Plays. It's just going to be playthroughs of every one of your favorite games. No talkovers, no nothing, no glitches, no tricks, no tips. Again, Dark Strider Plays. Check it out. Support your boy. While I'm doing that, if you would be so kind and you like what we do at the channel here, by all means, please consider supporting it. You could go over to the store tab or even below the video and check out the items that we have for sale. We have t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and whatnot. Every dollar you spend goes towards the channel. Now, if you'd like to be sponsored, if you'd like to be a sponsor of the weekly podcast that we do every Friday, by all means, give me an email at stridernet at gmail.com and I'll answer you back and we'll talk about sponsoring your product or your website and getting it in the podcast several times for people to see and possibly enjoy. Again, thank you so much for all the donations and all the support. I greatly appreciate it. And it's very humbling. Thank you.